U properties let you write C++ variables that can be used within the engine. In this level, I have an actor that has been parented to a blank code class. Here we'll add some U properties and explore how they work. Adding a bare U property alone doesn't allow you to necessarily edit it in the editor. If we live code that, we can see that it doesn't appear. If we want them to show up in the defaults, what we can do is add a special keyword to the U property. And what that is is U property, edit default only. And now you can see we can change the value in the class defaults menu. So edit defaults only property. You can see that the engine is smart enough to add spaces between our camel cases and remove underscores. So we can set this to three, compile it and save it. And now our blueprint has changed the value of the code variable, edit defaults only property. However, if we go to an actor in the level and click them and try to find the variable, it's not there because we can edit the defaults only. If we wanted to be able to edit it on an instance in a level, what we can do is create another U property with a different keyword. Edit instance only. Now in our level, if we click our actor, you can see that the edit defaults only property is still not available, but if we type edit instance only property, it is available here. And so we can change the value from the default of one to say maybe eight. However, there's also one caveat. Now, if we go back to the class defaults and we type edit instance only property, you actually can change the edit instance only from the defaults also. I'm not sure if this is a bug, I believe that this intended that you only edit this on level instances because there is another property which is edit anywhere. The edit anywhere property lets you change the defaults and change instances in a level. So here we've edited the default, but if we go into the level, you can see we do have the edit anywhere property and it took the default that we set, but we can override that in the level, say 600, save that. But you can see in the default, it's still 303. However, there's still some restrictions. If we go to the event graph, we can see. So if we try to get the edit anywhere property, we cannot grab that property here. The edit defaults only. We can't get that property either. And the edit instance only. We can't grab that property either. But if we were to have like some regular variable and we tried to get my test variable, you can see we can get inside it here. So there's some additional property markup that lets you grab variables like this. The first one is blueprint read only. If we edit that, let's compile that into the game. Fixing compile errors. Now we can see that if we right click, we can say get blueprint read only property. So we can read this float, but we can't actually set it. So you can see that the read only property is not here. So there's another keyword for your properties that is blueprint read write. With blueprint read write, we can get it. So get blueprint read write property. And we can also set blueprint read write property. So we can set the value and read it. However, if you notice, if we go to the class defaults, we can't actually change the read write default and we can't change the read only default. The way to achieve that is to mix these keywords. So for example, you can say you property edit anywhere and then blueprint read write. So you can see we can get the blueprint read write, edit anywhere blueprint read write. We can set the edit anywhere blueprint read write. And then also in the defaults, we can set the edit anywhere blueprint read write variable. So that's the primary keywords that you will use a lot is combining edit anywhere and blueprint read write. You should note that in addition to edit anywhere, there is the visible anywhere and other variants. So I don't use this a whole lot, but it is possible. So these three variables are visible default only, visible instance only, visible anywhere only. If we compile these, 
if I type visible in the details panel for the class defaults of the actor, you can see we see all three visible. So visible defaults, visible instance only, and visible anywhere. But we can't actually change the values. And the same is true for the level instance. So we click on the instance in the level and we search for visible. We cannot see the visible defaults only that's been removed, but the visible instance only property and the visible anywhere only property. We can see those values, but we can't change them because they're not edit, they're visible. We will continue exploring the basics of view properties in a follow up video.